All right, in this video, we're gonna review the sacrum and the coccyx. This is the sacrum right here. This is your tailbone of the coccyx, and it attaches right like that. They're two separate pieces. Now, for the coccyx, all you have to know is its name. This is the coccyx, and that it is four or five fused bones. This one has one, two, three, four, five bones, okay? That's all you need to know. Most of the video will be on the sacrum. Now, the sacrum is actually five fused bones, and you can still see the remnants from the body. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and there's these little ridges between to show you the distinction after the fusion. So let's take a look at the parts. First part is the superior articular process. That is these two wings. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see this. These two projections right there are the superior articular process, and that's where the sacrum articulates with lumbar number five. Lateral mass are these expanded areas on the side right here. This is the lateral mass. Body is the main portion of the bone. Articular surface, that's right on the edge here. I'll outline it for you. That's this smooth area where the innominate or hip bone attaches. Uh, the ne next was the coccyx, we already did that. Anterior sacral foramina is these openings right here. They're in the front, the front's concave, you can see that. Okay, let's go to the back view real quick. Again, there's the superior articular processes right here. Neural canal is this opening right here at the top of the bone. We'll do all of the crests. Here's the lateral sacral crest. Intermediates on the inside of the holes right there. Intermediate sacral crest. And this is the median sacral crest right there. Hiatus is the terminal opening of the neural canal right here. Posterior sacral foramina are these holes. Articular surface, again, is on the side, both sides. And then the lateral mass are these expanded portions right there. That's the sacrum.